we know exactly where the current Hiro Mashima stands when it comes to killing off good characters. If Hiro Mashima can't even kill off a fucking cat, a fucking cat that has no relevance to the overall story of Fairy Tail, then what makes you think that Hiro Mashima is gonna kill off characters like Evergreen, like Juvia, like Levi, like Elfman? Hmm? He's not. It's that simple. He's not. I mean, no wonder Macroft didn't fucking die. Because Hiromashima doesn't have the fucking balls to kill off a cat. A useless piece of shit cat that has no relevance to the overall story. A cheerleader cat. And he couldn't kill his ass off. Now we know where he stands. Simon was the only good character to die in the series, and he will remain the only good character to die in the series. If he can't even kill off a fucking cat, then you can expect that all the good characters in the series of Fairy Tale to remain alive. Because Lecter is alive. That right there is what Hero is telling me. And then, to top it off in this chapter, we have a hintage that maybe Yukino may somehow be related to the family tree branch of Mary Jane, Lisana, and Elfman, which is terrible. That is terrible. I mean, not only, and, and yes, and by the way, when it comes to Lisana's character, I hate, I hate, absolutely hate Hiromashima for not utilizing Lisana as a character. Her and Lucy should be butting heads. They should be butting heads when it comes to their relationship with Natsu. But they're not. And it's like, what the fuck? That is terrible. But not only that, we have Yukino, who may be chucked in there. I mean, who knows? It may be as simple as Mary Jane just simply playing the older sister role because she lost her older sister. But then again, it could also be that that she's also that that she's the Edelos version of Lisana, just a few years older since they went through a seven-year time warp, and it'll be like what the fuck? Because according to the Edelos Mary Jane, their version of Lisana died. But I guess, I mean, fuck it. I mean, hey, he will spend an entire fucking panel, one big ass panel, where it was, yeah, like Yukino looks exactly like Lisana. Fuck. That, that was the one word that came out of my mouth. Fuck. Just simply put, fuck. Because I do not want to see that. That whole entire family system is already botched. It's already botched. Don't ruin even more. It's like it's like taking a shit on the floor of a classroom. And then you say, fuck it. I'm going to take sprinkles and sprinkle sprinkles on the shit. And it's like, why? Why you sprinkle sprinkles on the shit? No one wants to see you sprinkle sprinkles on the shit. I'm just saying, don't do it. Don't fucking do it, hero. Do not. And then, at the end of the chapter, what happened? Well, these guys called the, uh, the, uh, Gyro Knights came in there. And now they're gonna go kill Natsu, or attempt to kill Natsu, Akarius, Yukino, Mary Jane, Wendy, and Lucy in this inescapable cavern. Now, granted, these characters, their character design is pretty cool. It is pretty damn cool. I'm not going to lie. All right? Well, the guy in the middle is pretty damn cool. The big guy is okay. The two chicks look kind of cool. One chick was doing some paper shit, which lets you know that Hiro Mashima and Kishimoto have Friday brunch. Uh, duh. Obviously. No shit. We already fucking knew that. But... The thing here is that this is kind of fucking random. Why is it random? Because the princess, who was probably going to wind up freeing Natsu and the guys anyway, she put them in an inescapable cavern. 
an inescapable cavern and then sent executioners. Why? What is the point of sending executioners to an inescapable cavern? The term inescapable would imply that this cavern is already a death sentence. Why? It's kind of like taking a guy and tying him up to an electric chair, pulling the fucking switch, then all of a sudden have this big dude with a shotgun to his fucking face. It's like, why? He's already in the fucking electric chair. Why the fuck would you bring in the big dude? There is no fucking point to that shit. And that's why these motherfuckers, even though their cat design is pretty damn cool, they have no fucking relevance. They don't. And at the end of the day, we already fucking know that Natsu is going to kick their fucking ass. Why? Because Natsu's with fucking Lucy, Mary Jane, and Wendy. Natsu, he sees his friends. What happens? Fired up, and that's what happens. He fired up, and of course, there's that one iconic scene where Lucy, at some point, she will get her ass kicked, and when that happens, the tears, the tears, Natsu son, Mary Jane son, and then the tears are gonna resonate with Natsu, Mary Jane, and power boost, and that's what happens. That's what always fucking happens, and that's the way it's gonna work out. That's the way it's gonna work out. Fuck Lecter. God damn it, hero. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I pray to God, somewhere deep inside my soul, my very being, I am praying that Minerva is lying to Sting. If she is, hero, thank you. If she's not, and Lecter's actually alive, fuck. You get the finger up your asshole, and I'm gonna fucking twist it 30 times to the left. Why? I don't fucking know. But fuck it. To the left. To the fucking left, alright? Lefty Lucy, bitch. I'm done. I'm done. The rating for this chapter, honestly, it was just unappealing. That's the rating, alright? Fairy tale, when it comes to chapter ratings, they have their own unique set of ratings. And this week is gonna be unappealing. Unappealing as piss shit. As piss shit. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go read this. And I'm going to go watch this, and I will see you guys later. Be sure to, of course, rate, comment, and subscribe as always. And now I'm signing out. Peace. Have a nice day. Then suddenly, my intuition and my wisdom grow. And then I know.